Hello and welcome. We are discussing previous year questions of number system and our theme was remainder. We have discussed few questions already. Let's move on to the next problem. This question says a number n is formed by writing 9 for 99 a time. What is the remainder if n is divided by 30? So, a number is formed by writing 9 how many times? 99 times. So, 9 1 time, 2 time, 3 times, 4 times, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and this in this way 9 has been written how many times? 99 times. So, this is our first 9, second 9, third 9, fourth 9, fifth 9, sixth 9, seventh 9, eighth 9, tenth 9 and in this way this one is 97th 9, 98th 9 and this is 99th 9. Now we are looking for the remainder when this n is divided by 30. So in this case we have to utilize the divisibility rule of 30. Now what is the divisibility rule of 30? Like the divisibility rule of 7 we have a set of numbers associated with divisibility rule of 30 and those numbers are 1, 4, 3, minus 1, minus 4, minus. Remember these 6 digits associated with the divisibility rule of 30. Now, let's try to understand this rule. I know 169 is divisible by 30. Since 169 is a very small number, so there is no need, there is no need to apply this rule of 13 on 169. 169 is a smaller number. Simply divide 169 by 13, you will get the answer. But when number is huge, then this chain has its application. But for understanding, let's try to find out how to prove whether 169 is divisible by 13 or not with the help of this chain. So, write down 169 below the digits of the chain and map them like this. 169, 1 of 169 below 1 of the chain. 6 below 4 of the chain, 9 below 3 of the chain. Now, vertically down you have to multiply. 3 9s are 36, positive sign. 4 6s are 24, positive sign. 1 into 1 is 1. Sorry, I am really sorry, this has to be 27. 9 3s are 27. Now, 1 plus 24 plus 27 is what? 52. Now, check. Is this result? Is this result divisible by 13? Is 52 divisible by 13? Yes. If the result obtained is divisible by 13 or 0, it says the given number must be divisible by 13 for Suppose, if I have more number than the digits of this chain, for example, let's say I am having a number 1000001, right? In the chain, 1, 3, 1, 4, 3, minus 1, minus 4, minus 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six digits are present, but in the question, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 digits are present. When the number is having more digits than the chain, then what you can do? 
repeat these six digits of the chain again. One, four, three, minus one, minus four, minus three. Then repeat the digits of the chain again. Okay. See. So, on C, six digits are uh, 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 six digits are present in the chain. Six more are arrived now. So this chain is applicable to twelve digits. Okay. Now repeat these six digits of the chain one more time here. Then the rule can be applicable to a to a eighteen digit number. In this way, you can increase the range of the chain just by repeating. these six digits just by repeating these six digits over and over again you can increase the range of the chain now do the mapping 1 with 1 4 with 0 3 with 0 minus 1 with 0 minus 4 with 0 minus 3 with 0 and this 1 with 1 now 1 into 1 positive 1 This three into zero zero minus four into zero zero minus one into zero zero three into zero zero four into zero zero one into one is one. So I can see my result is what positive two. Is positive two divisible by thirteen? No. It means this number one double zero triple zero one. This huge number will not be divisible by thirteen. i hope divisibility rule of 13 is clear now so one c this is the divisibility rule of 13 second thing the pattern that i have discussed i have told you if a number is of the form a b a b a b having six digits in it then This number will always be divisible by seven, eleven, and thirty. I have discussed it already. So this number of the form a b a b a b will divisible by thirteen for sure. Okay. Now, which means if nine is written, if nine is written six a time, if nine is written back to back six time, then this Number has to divisible by thirteen for sure. If nine is written twelve time, if nine is written twelve time back to back, then number has to be divisible by thirteen. If nine is written six times, twelve times, eighteen times, right? This goes on thirty times. This goes on sixty times. This goes on ninety times. This goes on ninety-six times. If nines are written back to back, six times, twelve times, eighteen times, so on, ninety-six times, then the number of ten will definitely be divisible by nine for sure. Definitely be divisible by thirteen for sure. Okay. Now you can use any of these. to solve this question okay so let's use this pattern let's use this pattern see i know i can write this number like 132 i can write this 132 as 1 plus uh, as 100 plus 32 can i do this 100 plus 32 okay similarly this number n can be written as 9999 is written back to back is written back to back 96 times then three zeros and then triple nine see if i'm writing 9 four times so i can write this number as 9 Thousand plus triple nine. So nine nine has been written how many times? It has been written ninety nine times. So I separated ninety six times and I have written this left out 
थ्री नाइन सेपरेटली आई रिटर्न दिस लेफ्ट आउट थ्री नाइन सेपरेटली नाउ वी आर लुकिंग फॉर रिमाइंडर व्हेन दिस नंबर इज डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टी नाइन नाइन रिटर्न नाइनटी सिक्स टाइम when divided by 13 remainder obtained is zero because 9 written 6 time 12 time 18 times and so on till 96 time then number obtained will definitely be divisible by 13 for sure positive is present so that is by positive now we are left out with triple 9 divide triple 9 by 13 13 Sevens are ninety one, eighty nine, thirteen six are seventy eight. Over here, remainder is eleven. So if you divide triple nine by thirteen, your remainder is eleven. So finally, your ultimate remainder is what eleven only. Hence, the answer is option A. Hence, the answer is option A. So I hope, guys, you have understood it. Okay. Now let's move on. A two-digit number is reversed. The larger of the two number is divided by the smaller. What is the largest possible remainder? For largest possible remainder, pick out the largest possible two-digit number. The largest possible two-digit number is ninety-nine. If I reverse the digit, then number obtained is ninety-nine again. Remainder is what zero. The next largest possible two-digit number is ninety-eight. If I reverse the digit, I'll get eighty-nine. If you divide ninety-eight by eighty-nine, your remainder obtained is what nine. See, ninety-eight divided by eighty-nine. 89 ones are 18. Remainder obtained is so. Next is 97, 79. Remainder obtained is 20. Let's check it out. 97 divided by 79. 79 ones are 79. 17 minus 9 is 8. 8 minus 7 is so. Remainder obtained is 18. So I can see. The remainders are increasing. Let's check out two or three more times. Ninety-six to sixty-nine. Remainder obtained should be ninety-six. Ninety-six divided by sixty-nine. Sixty-nine ones are sixty-nine. Sixteen minus nine is seven. Eight minus six is two. Twenty-seven is also present. So let's. Let's move. Let's check it out. Nine is present. Twenty-seven is present. Let's check out. Will there be any further largest possible remainder? Is there? Okay. Let's go for forty. Uh, ninety-five now. Ninety-five and fifty-nine. See. Let's check it out. Ninety-five when divided by fifty-nine. Fifty-nine ones are. So fifteen minus nine is six. Eight minus five is see thirty six is also there. Thirty six is also there. Let's check out one more time because nine is also present, twenty seven is also present, thirty six is also present. Let's go for one more time. Ninety four and forty nine. If I do this for ninety four divided by forty nine, forty nine ones are forty nine. Fourteen minus nine five. Eight minus four, forty-five is also present. Okay, let's check out one more time. Let's check out one more time. Okay, after it, next is ninety-three and thirty-nine. Ninety-three and thirty-nine. Divide ninety-three by thirty-nine. Thirty-nine twos are seventy-eight. Nine twos are eighteen. Nine uh, three twos are six plus one. So thirteen minus eight is five. Right? Eight minus seven is two. I can see the remainder got decreased. The remainder got decreased. 
the remainder got decreased so definitely if i move further my remainder will go on decreasing hence the largest possible value of remainder that i got here is 45 so option d is the right choice i hope guys this is clear to everybody thank you so much